Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your free NBA previews and predictions for a Wednesday, February 10th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your hump day. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner. And hopefully you can join us live each and every weekday from 2 to 3 p.m. right here on the Raymond Report on our YouTube channel as we break down every NBA and NHL game going on today. Also, today's broadcast brought to you by Streetcatcher.com. Play at streetcatcher.com, make one pick a day and win great prizes and follow other great leaders right here at streetcatcher.com. All right, let's take a look at the uh, first game on deck here between the Raptors and the Wizards. Now, Washington go into this one as a five and a half point home dog. The over runner set at 232. ATS forecast, computer pick, sees a Raptors victory 119 to 111. The over under set at 230.29, so it does like this uh, game to go under the total. 64% chance of winning, uh, covering the spread for the Wizards, who are coming off a 105 101 uh, win against the Chicago Bulls. So we'll see if they can find some consistency in back to back wins, where the Raptors coming off a, a win over Memphis, and their last eight games have gone over the total. That's why you're seeing the Kogo here at 26%, so meaning you have a uh, 70 percent chance of this game going under the total tonight between the Wizards and the Raptors now Raptors 11 and 13 11 and 13 on the season Wizards 6 and 15 Atlanta taking on the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas so the game's in big D the uh the line is set at minus four for the Mavericks over under set at 232 ATS forecast computer pick sees a Mavs victory by five 120 to 115 the over under at 235.86 so it does like this total to go over the total Looking at the chance of covering, an 80% chance of covering for the Mavs. And uh, that's because they're on a three ATS losing streak. Coming off a win against the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. They win, but they didn't cover. 127-122, where the Hawks haven't played in uh, three days uh, when they beat Toronto 132-121. to So that was a high-scoring game. And uh, the Kogo, that's why you're seeing the Kogo very low here tonight at 38%. Looking at value, if you do like the Hawks, we had them at minus 161. And you're getting plus four. So you're getting good value with Trey Young and company. LA Clippers taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, the uh, the Clippers off two days uh, after that loss against the uh, Sacramento Kings on Super Bowl Sunday, 113-110. They have a 53% chance of covering tonight against the T-Wolves. But they're a 10-point uh, road favorite. The over-under set at 222.5. ATS forecast, computer pick. Going to see the, uh, the the Clippers win exactly by 10. 121 to 111. The over-under set at 232. Looking at the Clippers now on a two-game losing streak. And so uh, the same thing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And uh, t- the Clippers, 17-8 and eight on the year. 15-10 and 10 to the over. And looking at their value index here tonight on the game between the T-Wolves and the Clippers. We had the LA Clippers at minus 6.91. And you're laying 10, so overvalued. And we had the T-Wolves at plus 7.85. And you're getting plus 10, so you're getting good value. The last two games for Minnesota have gone over the total. Charlotte taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Now the Grizzlies goes in this one. Coming off that loss to the Toronto Raptors a few nights ago, 128-113. to They're a four-point home favorite this evening against the Hornets. Hornets uh, won their last game, 119-94 against the Houston Rockets. And uh, the computer pick does like Memphis winning this one, 115-108. The over-under at 224.11. 74% chance of uh, covering the spread for the Memphis Grizzlies. And um, the reason why that uh, is very high is because they're on a four-game losing streak straight up and against the number. Last two games have gone over the total. They're 9-10 and 10 straight up on the year. And looking at their value index, plus 0.51 and you're laying four. So um, a team on a four-game losing streak, you got them on a minus four against a team that's on a two-game win streak. 39% chance of covering. But uh, the uh, the final score here, 115-108. Hey, they got to get in that win column someday, right? What goes up must come down, and that's what the rain report's all about. Pacers taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Now, Brooklyn coming off an embarrassing loss to the Pistons last night, 122-111. There's no way they're looking ahead of this game. One and a half point home court favorite this evening. The overrunner at 234. ATS forecast calls a Nets victory by two, 112 to 110. Overrunner at 222.6. And looking at the um, chance of covering, 81% chance for the Brooklyn Nets. You know, Brooklyn, after all the big trades and everything, it's just they cannot, it seems every night it's a different story, right? You know, Durant is out, uh, Irving's out, um, you know, Steve Nash is he over his head. You know, this, uh, the Brooklyn Nets uh, have got to find, you know, it's like when you watch a good football game. When you don't talk about the ref, you don't know he's there and, and, and you just watch the game go, you don't worry about it, right? 
Um, the same thing with the Nets. They just got to, you know, stay out of the uh, the social media, stay out of the headlines, and just win basketball games, and maybe they'll find some uh, consistency. But right now, there's no consistency on the Brooklyn Nets, and looking at their record, 14-12. and 12. With all that talent, they should not be a 14-12 and 12 team, right? They should be at least with the uh, the Clippers and the uh, uh, the Milwaukee uh, Bucks. And looking at their records on this on the season, let's take a look at the standings here for the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets, so losing last night, 14 and 12, and Milwaukee Bucks, 16 and 8. That's where I see the Nets being in that range, right? So they're a couple of wins off, but they should be leading the pack here. The, the whole Eastern Conference is uh, way wide open, and I think I'm spending way too much time here talking about the Brooklyn Nets. All right, 77% chance of covering for the Pacers. We're on a three-game losing streak, coming off a big loss to the um, uh, Utah Jazz, and everybody's losing to Utah these days, 103.95. And the strength of schedule, Indiana's played some really tough teams in the last seven games. In fact, the teams they face have a combined win percentage of 71.4%. That's why you're seeing them on a three-game losing streak. All right, enough of that game. I feel like uh, um, the PR announcer for the Brooklyn Nets here. Uh, New Orleans taking on the Chicago Bulls. Now the Pelicans coming off a big win last night against the Houston uh, Rockets, uh, 130-101. to We had the over in that game. And uh, they're a three-point road favorite against the Bulls. Bulls, uh, you know what, not looking great of late. 9-14 and 14 on the year, and they're a, um, a three-point home dog here tonight. The forecast sees a Pels uh, vi- a victory by three, 116-113, over-under at 229.99. 55% chance of covering for the Bulls, and for the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, they're on a four-game straight up and ATS win streak, and their last four games have gone over the total. The Kogo is at 36%. Cavaliers taking on the Nuggets. Now Denver, a 9.5 point favorite. The over-under is set at 218.5. ATS forecast, a computer pick. Going to see a, a victory for Denver here. 111 to 102. The over-under at 214.6. So it does like it to go under the total. Uh, Cavaliers on a four-game losing streak, but a seven ATS losing streak. That's uh, that's pretty tough to swallow right there. And Denver, they're on a three-game losing streak, three ATS. And, uh, you know, you're starting to see a lot of these bubble teams just don't have that same type of energy this time of year. And maybe the wear and tear is starting to get to these teams, right? Um, looking at uh, the Kogo in this game, 39%, meaning a 61% chance of this game going under the total. And uh, looking at the Nuggets coming off a loss to the Bucks in their last game, 125-112. to Lakers taking on the uh, Thunder. Now the uh, LA Lakers, a 10.5 point home court favorite. Over under set at 217. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to go to the Lakers, 113-102. The over-under set at 215, so it does like it to go under the total. 39% chance of covering for the Lakers. That's because they're on a five-game win streak, but only one ATS, where Thunder, a two ATS win streak, and 10-13 and on the year, a 43% chance of this game going over the total. Bucks taking on the Phoenix Suns. Both teams coming off wins in their last game. The Suns beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 119-113, where the Bucks took care of business in Denver, 125-112 at the Pepsi Center. And looking at the Bucks on a five-game win streak right now, they're a three-and-a-half-point road favorite. The over-under is set at 226. Forecast, going to lean with the Bucks here, who are on a five-game straight-up and ATS win streak, 119-115. The over-under is set at 234.4. But, uh, you know, don't uh, look at the Suns here. They're on a three-game win streak, too. So they're uh, both teams going in uh, streaking. And uh, one of them, unfortunately, is going to lose tonight. The, um, the uh, let me see here, the Kogo is at 47%. And our value index, we had the uh, the Bucks at minus 10.24. So you're getting value at 3.5. And, a half, and uh, we'll see what happens with that game. All right, guys, don't forget, join us today live from 2 to 3 p.m. We're going to break down every game in depth. And uh, hopefully we can uh, come up with some nice winners for you. Again, don't forget, play at streetcatcher.com. Make one pick a day and uh, follow the leader. That's, uh, you know, the one thing, if you're if you're really cold right now making picks, follow the leader. He's on four winning streak, and hopefully we can get somebody to go on a uh, high winning streak. All right, guys, have yourself a great rest of your day. As always, shop for value. Play those percentages. We'll see you back shortly with another brand report.